This is my first oscilloscope. I got it for free from a local laboratory electronics and uh, they gave me this for free because it was obsolete at the time. So this piece of equipment uh, was already old uh, at the time uh, and it was 1982. Oh, one thing, I'm not the grandpa yet, okay? It was just because the instrument was already old when they gave it me, all right? All right, let's move on. And, uh, and this is obsolete even for me, and uh, it, it is also broken. Uh, so before throwing it into the dumpster, I thought to show you how it, it's made inside. So let's open it. So to take it apart, uh, let's move this, the screws. In a pretty simple way. Because look at that, it just is so easy to remove the cover and uh, to rear the, the inside of the scope. So here we have the cut ray tube that uh, projects the image on the screen, uh, the high voltage circuitry, here the Y amplifier, uh, and here the X. Uh, uh, amplifier and uh, sweep uh, control here the other side uh, where there's the tube and the high voltage uh, uh, section with power supply while on this other side we can see there is the the amplifiers and the low voltage parts and the low voltage circuitry uh, with uh, this beautiful selectors uh, for the amplitude and the frequency. This is the the time uh, selector. Look at that! Hey, it is made of uh, bakelite discs of. Bakelite with the golden trays on top that makes the contacts and the components are soldered uh, across the, the discs and the side we have uh, this uh, shaft that is made of uh, brass that is on top of a steel uh, rod beautiful and as you can see uh, we just change a switch uh, capacitors. Uh, These are uh, a bunch of capacitors, and here we have a bunch. Uh, and here we have a bunch of resistors. So for each frequency, for each uh, timing, time base, um, it is a switched uh, a resistor and a capacitor. Here we have. Uh, the tube, this tube, which is uh, uh, an AC883, uh, sorry, an ACC83, pretty common tube at the time, and it's a double triad. And this is the Y input, uh, where the here we have the attenuator, and uh, here we have the tube one half of the tube and down here the other half of the tube and then uh, it goes here with this uh, second stage that this is the preamplifier this is the amplifier the actual amplifier these arms uh, carry the motion from the controls on the control panel to the switches located on the board an interesting thing about the scope is that uh, through this plug, it was possible to uh, power the, the oscilloscope uh, uh, with a battery, a 24 volt external battery that uh, uh, would have been located here. Here there would be the pocket to store the cord and uh, attach it to here, uh, there would be the battery compartment. So yeah, this was a useful instrument uh, even for measurements on field without relying on mains voltage. Okay, now let's try to tear down 
the tube, the, the cathode ray tube. Oh, I have to remove these screws as well. To and here the tube. Oh, yeah. There's yeah this and these three wires. Anyway, this is the cathode ray tube. This is not the high voltage uh, uh, transformer, but uh, it is this one. If I, uh, we look at the schematic, this is the this transformer, and this one is this one, and uh, and here's there there are uh, a bunch of interesting diodes that are this one. It is. BA under 48. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, it is an interesting circuit. Maybe I'll discuss this uh, in another video. Here I see this number 72. Maybe uh, is it? It is the, the year of manufacturing. I don't know. Uh, this is a pretty nice switch as indicated in the. Um, Manual, we have to remove the cabochon. It was written in French, <laughs> not so easy. Oh, it was not necessary, <laughs> it was easier. Just pull off. <laughs> Here we have the uh, nut. It uh, need to be uh, to release this nut and extract the knob. Remove the remove the bottom plate. Must uh, nope. Let's remove this from there. Oh yeah, we have to remove this screw. Almost there. So something else. This wires. Let's cut this. All right. And now the board is coming off in all its glory. <laughs> all right, and this is the, the board power and uh, high voltage section to control the cathode ray tube. Look at this grid. <laughs> it's like the one you use it in submarines. <laughs> So let's remove this, and uh, I think uh, we have to release this. <coughs> yeah, and, uh, it's not enough. <laughs> okay, it seems there is something hidden behind here, this panel. So let's try to remove the panel. And first, let's take off this thing and then let's try remove the panel yes oh no there's nothing behind so <laughs> yeah something else is holding this part uh, together and uh, I'm not ah found it there is a screw here. Whole board need to be removed. All the screws. All right. So here we go. We have the signal board. 
pretty nice. Well, now nowadays uh, uh, it is impossible to 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 see something similar because we use um, encoders and uh, almost everything is digital. So there is uh, uh, maybe a flat cable or directly the PCB uh, that control the uh, digital circuits that. Uh, uh, maybe they make the switch uh, of the analog part of the circuit uh, well uh, this nowadays uh, everything is made in another way it is always it's all thought uh, in another way but uh, um, still today if you want to do something that is full analog uh, well this remains a good technique and uh, the uh, best engineering of the time could be still useful today if you want to make something that is full analog well i i, I hope you enjoyed this video as i enjoyed to tear down this old instrument and uh, see the internal parts if you like this video please hit the thumb up icon that's all folks for today thanks for watching see you next time bye